Hey, this is Em with a Beard, and I'm here to talk about my review overall view of seeing Halo Infinity at the end of 2021 and on to 2022. Because so far, I absolutely love games so far. Even just recent updates, since I just got hold of the bare bones before, which is what I came for. And I have, I have very high hopes for the games, for the game. Since for all the updates, there's gonna be more modes. I don't know it's gonna come back. Forge is not there. I think I have checked. I've been focused on multiplayer, and all. Uh, I love it. It's been back great. So I'm the game. In fact, I'm waiting for Infection to come back too. That's what I'm excited. So far, what we'll we given is Halo right now up to the release and update of the playlist is great. There's still some things missing, like separated crossplay from console and PC. Still an issue, but I honestly have ran into a real issue in gaming, like other people have been saying, like hacker and stuff. I've really been experiencing that. Just I've been enjoying the games, smooth and fun. It's been great. So there's so far the problems. It, there's my problems so far right now. Currently. It's kind of minuscule, minuscule overall, and I the the story that real problem is right now currently it's not a real problem but a small annoyance is the store the store, yeah the pricing is off like for some things like some AI minor stickers and add-ons to weapons. Or like two thousand coins if you go store like hundred bucks for thousands of coins like it's really weird and annoying weird ridiculous but I hope we there's hope it's early days we still hope they could be a fixed repricing them and add more variety of things and they added yeah so far that's a minor annoyance it's like the future. We're just I'm just hoping they can actually just finish fix that up, and that'll be great. And I think they should just make check update and a high suggestion for a customization like cut armor coloring. That should go back to the old days. We gonna have multiple colors or specific colors that you want. You want a solid color or variance or you want to make some combinations or you want. And I don't, do not, I do not mind the, the preset ones and the customization, but it should be more to feel out to have different kind of armor pigmentation choosing, like every other Halo game so far. But uh, still, time will go on and tell when if things will change or added. Okay, so far right now is. It's, right now it's holding good. It's awesome. I had fun. Have hours since I got it, which I wasn't allowed. Didn't get to play immediately on the anniversary Halo's anniversary to anniversary 20th anniversary, like everybody else. Because due to issues, not nothing serious. But I still got to play, play before it official release week of the eighth of December. So this video is gonna be taking place, be being done by the end of this year. So everything's gonna one day if everybody sees this by the end of it. Now next year, oh, uh, still fat criticism. Halo, Halo Infinite seems like the best Halo yet since the Halo Five was not that was okay to me was good but not the best. My favorite was always would be Halo Two and Three. And ODC and Reach, overall, oh <laughs> cool, Kimmy. I like all the game, all the Halo games I played, but yeah, I love them all. I think okay of Halo Four and Halo Five. I enjoy the multiplayer more than I do the campaign. The campaign right there, well, that game was lackluster and disappointing. Halo Five, Halo Infinity means Halo Infinity is it's fixing that problem. I can tell you that. Yes, it is. But so far, Halo, Halo Infinite is doing great. It's on the right track. 
his re- at the Game Awards and won an award for best game for who won an award. Cheers to that. I am, I'm just I can't really wait to get more of this Halo Infinite gameplay joint. So so far, it's I'm awesome. It's, you see, I'm stumbling because Halo Five is a great game. Halo Infinite, I mean Halo Infinite Infinity is a great, amazing. There's still more to come. There's still bugs here and there to fix. No more things need to be added, like maps. Maps are not. I'm not talking about maps. I've seen. We need more, more maps. Like oh, we they could go back like health, bring back Forge. When they bring back Forge, they could bring back community creations. Like do with Halo Five, get writing. Let the players creativity roam free. That's why nobody really has, ever. Everybody really talks about the community creations on Halo Five. But that's will be issue for that will be something else for another video all, altogether. I really want I want to get touched on, but so far Halo Five Infinities is killing it. Everybody's having a great time. The people don't saying negative things or people that don't get it. Don't, don't, don't get it or just or not. Don't like, don't get the game. I love the game. This game is, feels like it's back to the old days. Hey, with new mechanics and and new mechanics and old one. Or sim- simple ones. Back to the basics. So, so far in re- reality, Halo Infinity in 2021 looks promising as hell right now. So, we, we just need to sit tight as a community. And wait, I see, wait to see more updates and new con- uh, the constant upgrades and improvements to Halo Infinite. You know, I mean, it's not completely done, Glenn. Done. It still has time on it to finish up. But that's the point. But that's why I'm very happy. Like this game is gonna grow, keep going, get better. You know, it's fucking fantastic. Believe me. And go play. I recommend the multiplayer and the campaign of everything. Oh hell, so far this game has done no wrong really. <laughs> besides the the store, which I'll I'll be. Is kind of annoying with the price, ridiculous with the prices, but all of that. The game is fine, amazing. It's like to me in percentage wise, it's like 90 percent finish. Cause you know modes and seasonal pass events. I'm happy with what they added, like seasonal events. I'm happy they have their own seasonal events. Cause hopefully they do a little more of their own events and stuff for a which is recently the Hamilton holidays towards the end of the year now I feel this Halo Infinity is going to be a great game it's going to kill it more it's going to dominate it started to dominate 2021 it just I'm happy I'm high open that Halo Infinity is going to dominate next year 2022, when we get there, and when everything more stuff's gonna come out, more updates, modes are coming. I'm just gonna be excited, hyped, and overall happy since Halo Infinity is happening. Since it's <laughs> multiplayer is free, I'm happy, I loved it. Started playing it. I really, that's most, this is the, Halo Infinity is really taking over my game time, really. Besides that. Besides some forces and monster hunters, I've been Halo's Halo Infinite has been dominating my gaming time all so since the resistance has been released, it really has dominated my gaming time and it was basically rep- so it got me from playing other, other, other games. I have a console right now because I am loving it so far. It's great. I can't wait to more for the future. All that, it's Halo Infinite is the new best thing that we have going on gaming. They say it's gonna it's gonna flop immediately. Like certain people, and I gotta name them, and out of disrespect, oh shit, that's gonna come out wrong, be taken wrong. But out of disrespect, because it, it's just uh, what they're doing. The stream, certain streamers and personalities think. I'm, Doing 
because due to the popularity and the oversaturation of the battle royals, which is a problem in and itself, which Halo does not need a battle royal, such as Battlefield and Vanguard, both not doing the good, they're freaking bombed with problems and issues. Well, I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you for watching. Enjoy them.